Hey guys, um, I um, am back with another update. Uh, it's been a couple weeks and there is uh, some um, general things to share. Um, so I won't take uh, too much of your time with this. Um, I have a lecture and 20 minutes starting anyway, but um, I decided to quickly uh, share what I've been up to in the last couple of weeks, um, which I can summarize just with one word, math. Uh, there has been a lot of, um, like a lot of time spent revising math, uh, math methods for physicists. Uh, I have various textbooks that I own, um, three. And um, so really um, all the classes right now are quite a bit challenging for me mathematically. It's not so much the physics that gets me, it's the math. And um, like one thing that I wanted to um, share, first of all, is the course load. I'm um, thinking dropping one of my courses because um, it's that Mac, by the way. Um, I would hate doing this. It's just that the course load is becoming so much that I am, uh, like I feel like I'm drowning in work and I miss out a lot of time uh, from uh, uh, like t taking care of my family, which I don't want to do, of course. I mean, I do want to take care of my family, it's just that I don't want to uh, spend so much time on school that uh, they kind of feel neglected. Um, plus, I also don't want to ruin my grades. Uh, my um, other classes, um, the lab, the classical mechanics, and the ENM work, um, really good for now. I mean, I, I, I do really well in the classes. Homework is doing good. I um, get consistently um, over 90% on the homework assignments, um, though they start to get really challenging. And again, it ties back to uh, the ability of doing math well, um, especially one of the latest assignments in e and uh, It was, um, like, I'm not going to go into detail what it was about, but you can check out my Instagram account. I've posted a picture of the assignment. Uh, it was just one problem, but it took me three days to do it. Um, and I had to ask for an extension. I had to talk to the professor a couple times outside of class time to clarify things. And um, this was a kind of a really uh, a good wake-up call for me to brush up on my math skills. Um, so a warning guys, if you have time, if you're still in your uh, first, second, even third year um, physics classes, pay attention to your mathematical methods class. Um, this will come in really handy and um, calculus in general, because um, over the weekend I spent about an evening to figure out the pinpoint exact areas where I'm lacking um, and so my weak points at this stage are the curvilinear coordinates, um, orthogonal, non-orthogonal, non, non um, generalized coordinates, how to transform from one coordinate system to another. And that ties into the um, Jacobian uh, matrix of transformations between systems. Uh, I'm, I'm really shaky with this concept. Um, so I'm working on that at the moment. Um, that brings me uh, into the uh, study of tensors. Um, at least very basic understanding of tensors is uh, really important at this stage. Um, we have some tensors now in ENM class. We have uh, tensors in classical mechanics. So, um, so that's another area that I uh, am currently reviewing and spending a lot of time on this also vector spaces, uh, in particular vector spaces uh, of functions, because um, when it comes to um, doing problems in, say, in e and um, that last problem was um, about spherical harmonics, so it involves Lejeune polynomials and their orthogonality conditions and such, and so this was um, my main point of difficulty in this problem. Um, and it's not so easily understood if you have a uh, very uh, weak understanding of vector spaces and how to um, um, work with um, 
vector spaces of functions, um, how to uh, do orthogonal expansions. Um, and so this is another area that um, I need to study a bit more. And actually, this is really good covered in um, Arfkin textbook, uh, chapter five. And also then uh, I will be going to chapter 15 to study more on village genre polynomials and um, spherical harmonics. So that's um, where my weak points are at the moment. Um, I feel like if I get them under control, things will get so much easier, uh, especially um, the homework assignments, because I do tend to spend a lot of time on this. And I, I really like to um, shrink that time to uh, something more realistic, not spending three days on one problem, but more like maybe a day for a whole set of problems or two days, but three days for one problem is just too much. Um, and so that's how the past couple of weeks have been. It's just a lot of doing math practice and review. Mm -hmm. um, so for now, uh, for the rest of the week, I will be uh, taking care of the lab report. Uh, I have my first lab uh, finished. I acquired all the data. It was the gamma ray um, absorption experiment. Uh, it, went, it went well, I think. Well, how well it went, I will be able to judge by how, um, uh, like how good the results will be after I do my analysis and prepare the lab report. But um, the experimental part was, um, fun it was um well it was not as fun as the second one that i'm doing right now but still i, I kind of like the uh, doing stuff in the lab and um this week we started the second experiment this is the milk and oil drop and yesterday i was finally able to get um, a good picture of what it's supposed to look like um in the scope viewer if you look in the, into the chamber of the setup um, so it, it was looking really cool, like a, a shower of lights that you can control with the voltage um, on the plates uh, of, the, of the chamber. So it was really, really cool. I, I hope to get um, to make another video on that to show you what it's supposed to look like inside the uh, chamber. So what you're actually looking for, because really I spent two days. Uh, first of all, I was learning the setup, how to uh, work with this how each part works. And then a uh, second day, well, yesterday, I was trying to find, like, the, trying to see those droplets of oil, which are so small, and they do carry charges. And, and you're supposed to uh, see them, count them, um, control them with electric field so that you can actually calculate the mass of the charges uh, of the individual charge and prove that the um, charge is quantized. Um, so it's a cool experiment to do. And I was really happy to finally get some results yesterday uh, to, to be able to continue with my measurements. Um, yeah, so I think um, that's about it for this update. And um, there is a um, couple more videos that I'm working on at the moment. I really hope I can have more time um, working on that. Um, Especially if I if I drop another course, and again I'm not dropping the course. I'm not thinking to drop the course because of uh, uh, because I need the time to work on the YouTube stuff. Uh, it's just because I really need that time to work on my math skills and uh, to make sure I get good grades this semester because that's um, uh, really important for my uh, future choices of um, well of the classes. Uh, next year, if I continue on with the physics degree uh, and decide to do master's or, um, um, yeah, in general, I really um, should be focusing on my studies um, more, ser more seriously at this point. Okay, guys, I, I start um, talking like nonsense, so, and my class is starting very soon, so I think I will um, stop the live stream here and uh, hopefully I can get... Um, back to you really soon with another video. If you enjoy these live streams or if you have any constructive feedback, what should I include? Uh, should I do them more often or not? Um, I will be really um, uh, do more of these live streams. I just feel like they sometimes are too boring f 
for, for you to watch. Oh, hi, uh, I, I think I have a viewer. So thank you for joining, um, Mohamed. Um, so waiting for your lecture. Uh, see, like I'm a student, I'm not a lecturer, uh, but I will um, post a few more videos uh, of the educational content. Um, particularly, I'm working on some of the videos on um, curvilinear coordinates um, and um, some other things that I find important. Um, so if you have any specific wishes for what you would like me to film, um, leave, leave them in the comments below and I will try to get to it as, as soon as I have some time. Um, but for the moment, I, I'm focusing on, on things that are uh, pertaining to my degree. Uh, I'm focusing on the things that uh, I find are really important uh, for me personally, and they could be useful for somebody else as well. Um, yeah, so this is um, it for this video. If you, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them in the next video. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, I see you next time, and uh, I'm glad that somebody stopped by. Um, okay, have a good day.